It's months since a deadly earthquake rocked these mountains in Nepal. Before the April disaster, the area was prospering thanks to the booming climbing business. But the quake and resulting avalanches have sent devastating shockwaves through the industry. Fribatashi is one of the most accomplished high-altitude climbers in history. The earthquake has left him penniless. Whatever we earned by risking our lives and working for the tourists has almost all gone, he said. More than 90 percent of the houses have been damaged. Sherpas complain of slow government response to help them, despite billions of dollars worth of foreign aid. Without homes, lodges and restaurants, overseas mountaineers are less likely to come. So far, the number of bookings for 2016 have been a third to half lower than previous years. This would be the biggest drop since commercial climbing began. Nepal is also facing an acute fuel crisis. An economic blockade of Nepal's border with India could disrupt expeditions simply because there is not enough fuel. With no fuel, there's no airlifting of equipment no emergency rescue flights and no gas cylinders for cooking on the mountain. But in Kathmandu, the director of Nepal's tourism industry was upbeat. He said he expected the spring season would see tourists flow in. Uh, tourist flow in those areas uh, will increase uh, in my observation. Guiding people up Nepal's mountains is a lucrative way of life, but it has exacted a terrible cost. Over 200 Sherpas have lost their lives working in the mountains. Many have been disabled by rock falls, frostbites and altitude-related illnesses.